Well, I'm back here um, at the water fountain and I'm going to take another sample, but this time not moss um, and not algae, but I'd like to take a scratch off some residue from the surface. And I suppose it does contain a lot of bacteria and possibly um, some other microorganisms. Uh, I hope uh, also some rotifers and maybe even some ciliates. I don't know yet. We'll see. A bowel film are microorganisms that stick to a surface and often you can find them like over here um, in very moist and wet areas uh, like in this fountain for example and I'm scratching off uh, some of this limey material that I found uh, on the fountain um, and yeah um, you can see that it is uh, slightly reddish orange um, and uh, there is uh, certainly some interesting material on there um, also here I'm taking off some of the material well, um, I did not get a lot, uh, but it's sufficient. So I took uh, two samples uh, and uh, I'll now go back into my uh, lab and uh, let's have a look at it. Well, um, and uh, this is the other sample. Not very appetizing, I understand, uh, but uh, surely quite interesting. Well, a slight preparation is uh, pretty easy, self-explanatory and straightforward. All you do is you take some of the sample material and spread it on the microscope slide. Cover glass, uh, cover glass on top um, as always and uh, that's pretty much it. Then it goes under the microscope and we can start uh, observing. Now what did uh, I see? Um, of course uh, a lot of uh, organic material and uh, cells. In this case these seem to be some kind of algae uh, from the biofilm. Um, there is a problem when you start scratching material away from a surface uh, you inevitably end up damaging um, a lot of cells especially if the biofilm is uh, attached uh, um, to the surface quite well and scratching will of course uh, destroy many cells and also in this case. So there original uh, structure is not really uh, preserved anymore uh, but what we can see is, is uh, that there is a greenish brownish uh, this, uh, coloration from uh, from the chlorophyll um, that is uh, fine and uh, you can also see um, occasionally interspersed between the algae you can also see some occasional diatoms um, in this case it's a little bit difficult to see because they're significantly smaller but you can also see that these algae I suppose these are algae um, are bundled together uh, because uh, they are uh, grown on surface and as I scratched them off uh, these bundles stayed together and uh, that's basically why it looks the way it does. So um, however there is also a second sample and this is uh, the second sample now. Um, I place a little, bit, a little bit of water first on the slide to dilute everything a little bit and then the sample material this one looks a little bit reddish um, I suppose that this is due to iron oxide because the fountain contained uh, some iron um, on, 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 on under the surface uh, and uh, yeah here it is uh, again a little bit uh, better seen uh, you put the cover glass on top and of course some rotifers and something that's interesting here right now is the following that the um, little structures that you can see inside the rotifer normally they look green and the reason is is that the rotifers when they eat uh, cells uh, then other al other algae for example uh, then this makes them appear uh, green uh, because uh, that is the color of the food that they've eaten and in this case uh, it looks uh, more reddish uh, because I suppose the material that they have eaten is, is uh, more red. Uh, it's the iron oxide, I suppose. Again, it's a uh, speculation. Yeah, and uh, also some uh, bundles of, uh, of uh, either, um, I would say, probably bacteria or, or other algae. I don't know. Uh, they're quite fine. So they could even be um, bacteria um, that are growing like this, uh, prokaryotes. I know that this is not really what we normally think of uh, when we look at bacteria. Uh, but uh, as we all know, there has been a confusion between cyanobacteria and algae. Yeah, and that's a rotifer. And you can see quite nicely the ciliate here beating and uh, this uh, rotates uh, quite rapidly. And you can see all of the debris and the cellular material that is now also uh, floating inside the water. And uh, here um, you can also quite well see that there seems to be a little heart beating there. Uh, now, yes, now again. Um, and uh, yeah you're a more uh, larger magnification 
And again, what I consider fascinating is, is that the color of these uh, organisms somehow seems to be influenced uh, by the environment where they grow and by the food that they eat. Yeah, and when they touch something, then it kind of withdraws very rapidly. Yeah, that is basically... I did not find a lot of uh, these uh, organisms in the sample, I have to admit, and I think one of the reasons is that uh, taking the sample by scratching it off probably destroyed and killed many of them. Yeah, and here, here is uh, another one. Yeah, and yeah, in any case, uh, interesting find. Uh, yeah, what you can all of the things that you can see in a biofilm, uh, certainly worth uh, a look. In any case, I wish you a nice day now. All the best, and as always, uh, happy microbe hunting. Bye bye.